Greetings, Andy here with Esky Acker Mining. We're doing a little mining today. An old mine in southwest Oregon. Want to take a look with us? Show you what's going on. Got our generator for power, running a rotor hammer back here. This is the old mine. It's a fault line, a shear fault that goes all the way through the mountain. And there was mesothermal deposition here, which means high temperature quartz. And if we look a little closer here, there's a seam of iron right next to our quartz. And it goes all the way up the mountain. But see all that iron there? Now on the surface, when it's all decomposed and clay-like, we call that Gaussian. When you're actually in the vein, it's often limonite iron. And the iron is where the gold is. And of course, your other metals as well. It gets deposited not necessarily in the quartz vein itself, but as the, as the pluton, your, in this case, granite, very acidic, dissolves all those metals out, and so it leaves the, the volcano itself and cools off. Those metals start to precipitate out. This is a low, low sulfurization zone, which means you have a lot more calcite and stuff particularly, which loves to absorb those acids, neutralize it, cause those metals to precipitate out. And they do it right next to the quartz here as the vein starts to cool off. So we're going to go and take a look here, show you where we're digging. Kind of show you how this vein goes into the mountain here. See all that iron there? And all that quartz. And that's argillite host rock, a little BLM gate. We actually uh, took that out so we could put our own gate in here. And here we are inside now. Look at the spine. That's the spine of the mine, which is where the vein is. In this particular main we're doing, mine we're doing pretty good on the foot wall. Locusts tell us that's the good spot. So let's go down and see what we're digging here, okay? Taking samples all over. Interesting areas in here. Here we got some flowstone. Calcium carbonate. Same as calcite, same as marble, same as lime. We call it carboniferous rock. It's very interesting as a way of neutralizing the fluids when they're in the hydrothermal action going on. So this stuff's good for depositing gold. In our case, there's a lot of calcite in here anyway. So, it's a low sulfidation portal. Up here's where we're working. That's the crystals there. So we're kind of just taking samples out of the spine. Lots of metallics in there. Lots of quartz veins that go every single which direction and calcite. But check it back here. This is the area of interest. See all that iron in there? There's a little quartz seam right there. See there's a little triangle right there where it kind of splits out? There's a couple of them here. Right there. A couple, and then you see in there all that iron? Look at that back in there. That's what we're looking for, as Chris points out. So we're digging and digging and we're going to be milling and milling. And that's the main vein right there. That's the foot wall. And in our first sample, we pulled about 3.6 grams out of the foot wall there. Right in the boundary of the main lead, the main quartz vein. So that's what we're doing. We're hoping to find some of that shiny gold. So, uh, y'all have a great day, and hopefully we'll have something to show for you later. Take care now.